In autumn, when the harvest moon is full, strange things happen in these mountains. There's a tale I've heard that grandfathers used to tell. It's told this time of year when the haze that falls here is thickest and the damp eeriness surrounds these mountains. For two days, the mountain sky had been weeping and the mist in the valleys clung to you like a newborn baby to its mother. The air on these days did not stir. It was cold and it hung wet and dripping from everything it touched. That was when the woman first appeared in Otis Dixon's barnyard as he was milking. It scared Otis, her coming out of the mist that way, all pale and dressed in gray. What can I do for you, ma'am? She didn't say a word. She just motioned to Otis milk pail. Otis gave her a little milk and off she went. She didn't say a word. The next day it happened again. On the third day when the woman appeared and the same thing happened, it got to bothering Otis real bad, enough that he decided to follow her. It was the best he could do just to keep her in sight, and maybe it would have been better for Otis if he hadn't. Her trip took her out of town through Wilson's Bottoms and into the town graveyard. She walked up to a freshly dug grave and paused and seemed to disappear. Otis didn't believe in Haynes, but he knew his eyes weren't fooling him and he was out of there fast. When he got back to the settlement, he grabbed Kylie Eller and told him what he saw, and out they lit. They both knew that it was curiosity that killed the cat, but they didn't let that stop them. Something was going on here and it needed looking into. When they got to the grave site, they recognized it was the grave of a young woman and her baby who had died of the fever just four days ago. They started digging like two souls possessed, and when they got near the casket, they heard it, a little baby crying, and on they went. They scraped away the dirt, opened up the casket, and there lay the body of the woman who had been visiting Otis, but in her arms, a little baby, very weak but alive. The baby could be saved, just what the mother's spirit wanted, because there, beside her body, in that pine box, was Otis's little milk pail. Strange things happen in these mountains. Some folks say that on Halloween, when the cold gray frost shrouds the great smokies, you can hear it still. Amidst the howling winds in the night jars, it is the mournful wail of a mother's plea. At least, that's what your grandfathers might have told you.